morning jeff from rv diagnostics february uh, 14th or 15th of saturday uh, 2023 this is a continuation video or just a video to teach you some little tricks that i've learned over time we're dealing with a uh, bcc battery control center but a unique one it's by intellitech it's for a diesel pusher now, I call it the 606 board, but it's got all these other numbers, you know, like 606, 000, 250, A56. Anyway, so we talked about this before, basically, right? There's Intellitech, Gen sets the generator, auxiliary is the house, chassis battery, okay? Now, this thing is under the dash, and with a CIA Alpha, which I'm working on, I think it's a 2008. Don't hold me to the year, but um, it goes up, and it has a little lock right here that holds it up. So it's a little easier to work on. Not all that easy. Nothing in an RV is easy. Oh, here she comes, my cat. All right, so I let my cat in here anyway. So I've replaced those two relays. There's the old one. All right. The coil windings started shorting out, and I'm blowing the fuses on the board. Now... We have fun getting this cable in here. I'm going to tell you, a lot of fun. Okay. Let's see here. There you go. I might be able to put this. I don't know. Here. All right. See, this piece here comes out. Okay, that's these. That's how they get bolted on. Okay, so it'll slide down into this piece, right? And what happens is you push on it, and the cable moves. So if you see this, this is a, I'll put the name of it up there, but you can get them at like Harbor Freight because I don't really use them to clamp much. But I'm holding the cable down there if you see it. And watch, I'm going to push the cable up. So every time I push here, it'll push back. And you're like, man, I can't put my hand in there. I got to take all this out. So we learn tricks to help you um, do this stuff. So the BCC is under the dash. Battery Control Center, 606 board. It's done M&M Electronics Repair. Very good people. Uh, I think Kate is her name that answers the phone all the time. Very, very jovial person. I've never had a bad word out of her yet. I'm sure there's some customers that piss her off, but here we go. Back to the meme. Now, so we was talking about this screw right here. And I tell everybody, once a year, go through and tighten up everything. Even all those down there, all those screws right there, right? Okay, that one over there, that was a tough one to get. This one, I already put this relay in. That was fun. Now, the uh, thing behind it, the diagnostic tip of the day, the DTTD, diagnostic tip of the day, um, is this. What happens, this presses against the wire. If you put a regular bolt in there, it's flat and it spreads out. This is grabs. But it'll come loose or burn, and then it'll weld the screw threads into that hole right there. Okay? Then you think you're tightening it up. Go, oh, man, I'm doing a good job. I won't have no problems. I think this guy from RV Diagnostics said do this like at least once a year. And if you're full-time, you need to do it more. All right. What I do, I want you to loosen it. Lefty, loosey, righty, tighty. Loosen it. If it comes loose, and then you tighten it back up. Sometimes you're going to find out when you try to loosen it, it's tight. It won't budge. You know why? <laughs> because these threads have welded they've galled they, they've gotten hot to heat softens the metal okay so that's just a tip of the day now for us people with bad backs and getting old i've used the pillow here on top of the steering wheel that's a smart wheel you can put the smart wheel on anything you want all right it's just a module i've done a couple custom rvs that didn't have smart wheels but they, they wanted them in. So I'm going to put this screw in this hole right here. All right, so I'm going to put you on pause. I'll be right back. All right, so I put the screw in. Now, you notice you want some cable hanging out, okay? 
want some cable hanging out like that one there right you don't want it all the way back in there like that one look at that one, man that was fun to do it's back in that corner up under this part of the dash you see it yeah oh, that's fun right there that's the armrest right there all right all right so just a couple little tricks I told you help you now these are self-explanatory they're marked all right so this is um let me see you can use this for a house connect disconnect um or a a chassis connect disconnect it says it right there coach chassis well in the red purple gray wire for the chassis coach is white brown well you can't mess it up unless somebody's cut the wires to change the colors then you're going to have to do some troubleshooting okay all right there's the part number there some of them let me try to get this in there you go. It's upside down, huh? But some of them come with the built-in fuse holder right on this plastic right here. Well, you can cut that off because it don't it don't need it in there. Because these are harder and harder to come by. The ones without it, okay? Because they're internal. All right. This bottom piece is made especially for them. All right. So. That's what I had to do in here. I just had to cut them off. You can kind of see where the plastic's rough. I took the fuse holder out of there, right? Some of them have one or two. All right, now we're going to tighten that up. And I have a couple different screwdrivers, right? I got this guy here, okay? That's pretty nice. And it goes on an angle, right? Right here, watch, I'll show you. Undo this, put it right in the middle. I'll get any angle I want. Okay, and that's, of course, your lefty, right, tidy, loosey. Then I got the famous, um, some of you might want to get this thing. It's a, this thing will, like, grab no matter what. You know how on a ratchet, you got to tick, 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 get a couple degrees. This here is zero degree. This is a clutch screwdriver set. It'll grab, look. Look, barely, I'm barely moving it, it's grabbing. But you can put Phillips straights in there. Flat tips, you can torque, Steve, make these heads with a torque on it. All right, that's pretty neat. I think the part number is, don't give me a line here. Well, guess what, there's no part number. Oh, look, that must be me, Jeffrey Vernon Malatesta. Let me see if there's a part number. Hold on, oh, JVM. Usually I have a date on these. That's probably how old they are. Anyway, here we go. We're going to tighten that up right there, okay? Remember, I had this 12-inch vice grip needle nose to hold onto the wire. I didn't pierce the insulation or mess it up. That pushed my cable in there and made all this easier for me to work on, folks. That's the key. All right? You get old, you get frustrated. I guess young people get frustrated, too. But me, I was too busy trying to make a living. I ain't had time to get frustrated. All right. So... That's a quick video there for you. Thank you very much, Jeff from RV Diagnostics. I was installing uh, house connect, chassis disconnect uh, relays. You can call them solenoids, but they are relays. So thank you very much for everything. We're over 30,000 members on the Facebook page. The YouTube is boosting. It's almost up to 6,000 members. Don't forget, uh, when I reach 6,000 members from 5,001 or 5,000 to 6,000, I'm going to be giving away $4,500, you heard me, $4,500 in cash money and prizes. All right, so once I'm over $6,000, I'll probably start it again. I'm going to go to $7,000. All right, so thank you very much, Jeff, from RV Diagnostics. A little bit, there's my beaver back at the garage. There's another RV. The that one got fixed already. That's the one that did the hot water tank in. There's another one over there. That just, that rolled in last night. Okay. Um, and there's another one on the other side of that. So, like I said, <laughs> I'd like to do this to my dash. Raise it up. I, I, just think I'm retired, man. <laughs> I was doing this for a living. <whistles> man, I, I, I could work 70 hour weeks. Uncle Sugar loved me. Anyway, thank you very much. I'm out of here.